match of my Welcome favorite. Welcome to LT Outdoors. All the teeth. They look a lot like a channel like I said, with everything the outdoor world has fish. to offer. Okay. <laughs> Ready? I'm going to shut my light off. <laughs> this is a beauty. Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Fish are all about, jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. Oh, that's a nice one, sis. LT Outdoors. Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting. Might even do a little fortune, too. I'm talking. Or sweet tooth. LT Outdoors. Oh, yeah, baby. I hope you enjoy the show. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Special thank you to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com and look up LT Outdoors. From now on, I will be doing a monthly drawing giveaway as a thank you to all of you for all of your patronage. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. In this episode, I don't have the boat. <laughs> <laughs> You're paddling in a in a canoe. I'll tell you what, if you've never really paddled up river in the Asable River, have you ever really paddled? Man, my arms feel like spaghetti noodles, but I'm out here getting it done. Packing up the fur. Hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think. Ah, this is what happens when motor breaks down and have to paddle I'm gonna paddle upstream first get that out of the way and then I'll paddle downstream and come back up this is that first beaver lodge one I've been trapping for many years I didn't get to check these yesterday, so I'm assuming there's going to be something in them. Yep, I got a beaver here. And the other one is just set off. I tell you what, though, I'm going to pull that other one. Oh, that's another big one, too, guys. Cool. Big adult beaver. Another 40 plus, probably pushing 50. Oh, yeah. Might even be over 50. I'm going to have to weigh this one, too. That's so cool. Here is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. And I'm out here <laughs> catching the beavers. Yeah, it's hard to do this by yourself, I'll tell you. That's a giant. Look, just look at the tail on these guys. That's a canoe paddle of a tail. Good lord. Alright, now I had a muskrat. This was kind of an odd spot to set for rats here because they had uh, they had such a wide strip here. Their hole is down really deep, but I could see that they were also using a hole up top here. Yeah, 
I got one big one here. Yeah, probably average. That's right though. They all add up. And there's one down deep. I can see him. That's a big rat. Ah, oh, no wonder he pulled it. That's a big one. Two rats and a beaver. I'll take that. Uh, almost coming up to my furthest set. And then I can go down river to the end and paddle back up. Oh, I just passed two really good muskrat holes. Three. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I hope I can get the motor fixed soon. I'm gonna keep on hammering these guys. This is a beaver set that I felt pretty good about. I'm really thinking there's gonna be a beaver. Let's see. Oh, stakes. Oh yeah, I got one. It's just a young one, but that's all right. It's another. Add to the pot. That's awesome. There we go. Beaver number two for the day. It's not a tiny one. I'd say it's a two-year-old. It's definitely not a kit. Oh. All right. I see a coon. Oh, I might have a double. We might have a double coming up here, guys. These are the first coon sets. Yeah, we do too. <laughs> Got a double. Hot dog. Yeah, that's a good sign. Those coons definitely moved last night. Yep, getting rid of the nest raiders one, one trap at a time. Just a couple more young ones, but like I said before, man, they all count. Saving a lot of birds. Oh, yeah, these are both young. I'm going to have to wipe them off. They're a little muddy. That one's bigger than this one, but we'll take them. All right. Got another rat here. It's been a little slow going. Three rats, two coons, two beaver. <laughs> it's like my fourth triple ever, guys. And the craziest part about it, this is the same place I got the triple yesterday. So that is two triples this year in the same location. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Another one that's almost silver. Nice. Got two big ones here, though. This ornery one in the middle is kind of young, but those two are big. Put them down and keep on. So there was a mouse in the canoe. Uh, I don't even know if I can see him out there now. He's getting out there a ways. I don't think he's going to make it. I got a feeling a big old fish is going to gulp him up. He might make it across though. He looks like a little little bitty muskrat. <laughs> Back at it again, guys. This is day check two for the canoe. <laughs> Rhyming here, I'm like Dr. Seuss. Uh, had a good day check though. See some critters back there piled up. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna pull these ones today. <clears throat> Yesterday they didn't have anything in them. I see today I got one. The water's way up though. I do have a muskrat here in the colony. 
which is good. I wasn't expecting it. A couple bucks. Yeah, not bad. Well, this is a first for me here on this trap line. But I will take it. Like I said, nest raiders, guys. That's what I'm after this season. Skunks. Possums. <laughs> and raccoons. It's actually not a bad looking possum. I might just keep that in tan. Yeah, he was the only thing here last night, too. Yeah, that's a good, good size one. Nothing wrong with that. Yep, nice possum catch. That one there is uh, still full. Yep, good to go. Cool, it's supposed to be real warm tomorrow. I think we're gonna have a lot, but yeah, that's a big possum. Let's get that. All right. Came up to that really big muskrat hole that I showed the other day and uh, got another one. Another big one too. Sweet. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that nice brown color. Yeah, don't get any better than that. Cool. All right, let's see if we got anything at this beaver spot today. Yesterday there wasn't any, but I got a feeling they were just spooked from the previous catch. Uh, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Muskrat. <laughs> well, better than Pull out nothings. Yeah, it's a big muskrat too. Like I said before guys, muskrats and muskrats and beavers share the same holes, so do not be surprised if you're catching muskrats in your beaver sets. <laughs> in fact it'd be I'd be more surprised if I went a year without catching a rat in a beaver hole. All right, now I'm not sure how this happened because I had it wired down. Oh, it's a big one, that's how, holy cow. It's got my stake and, geez, it's got my stake and everything that I had it wired to. I don't know if you guys can see that. I had it wired to those logs and he's got them drugged to the bottom, holy cow. That's a big one. I looked and I'm like, man, I swear I had another trap there. Thank God this river is so clear. Or I wouldn't have seen that. There. Got it. <laughs> Holy cow, I'll show you the log I had him hooked to. This is just a, this is just a 220. This ain't even a 330. Oh. Yeah, that's another big beaver. Look at this though. This was a, that was part of his lodge I had it hooked to. I didn't think that was coming out. I pulled on it and everything. That was secure in there, but he ripped it out. Holy crap. All right, coming up here. It looks like I have another possum. It's kind of funny though how, how things like this work. Usually when one possum runs, there's a bunch. Oh, in fact, you know what? I got at least a double up here on possums. That's crazy. Yeah, usually if you're not catching coons, you're catching possums. Two more possums for the boat. <laughs> That's all right though. I'm saving birds one by one. Oh, and wait a minute. Coon in the, oh, I, yes, that's my first connect. I got a coon there in the, 
the 160. Yeah, baby. That's awesome. So basically a triple right here, guys. We got these two, again, big. These are nice, beautiful, beautiful possums. Nothing wrong with these at all. There's still a 160 over there hiding. I don't know if there's anything in that, but yeah, let's put these down and then I'll show you the coon and we'll check the other trap. All right, I got those two dog proofs there rebated. I'll get up here. This is exciting to me because I've had these set. See, it's a patience game, really. These are blind sets. You just set them and let them go. But it's nice because then you don't have to shoot them. You don't have all the blood. They're just good, clean fur. So it's nice. I wish we were able to use a bigger one, like a 220, but these 160s are pretty nice. I just got them wired off to a tree here, but like I said, it's really the best way to go because, uh, like I said, no, no mess. Look at that. Beautiful, clean pelt right there. We're coming up to the spot where I've had uh, the last couple triples. And I think, yep, I see one. Might only be the one today, but that's, uh, I've caught six here already at this one spot. So that's pretty good. Oh no, we got a double. <laughs> Sheesh. Two triples and a double here, guys, in three days. Eight coons in this spot in three days. Holy crap. That's pretty dang awesome. Pretty dang awesome. Wow. Yeah, this trap line's been really good. Another couple young ones, but again, you know, there, there's a lot of them, obviously. So I'm helping out all the birds. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, very neat. Actually, I wonder if... Yeah, this is where the triple was, because there's a salmon thing, but... Actually, they're not as small as I thought. These are average size coons, so yeah. Get these guys out of here, remake it, and uh, be on our way. All right, now I wish I had a 330 with me today because honestly, this right here is uh, perfect. The water's up. I can tell animals are using this. They only use this when the water's up. Um, I'd probably get an otter here tomorrow, but for now, because I don't have any 330, hard to carry a bunch of stuff in the canoe since I don't have a boat um, but what I am going to do I'm going to set up a dog proof on both sides of this because I know the coons are running this too and probably possums this will be like a funnel point for them all So I might as well set it. All right, I gotta stop at this log jam. Uh, I mostly stopped because I wanted to grab this bobber. Looked like a decent bobber, but then I seen then I seen a lure, and I'm like, heck, might as well stop. Yeah, Bass Pro Shops bobber. And, let's see, look like a nice gold, oh yeah, storm. Wiggle, or a, um, yeah, hot and tot. Hooks are bad, but I can swap them out. Finding lures and somebody. All right, paddling on. Uh, I tell you what, this is a bummer for now anyway. This was a trap I just set yesterday. I just found this beaver lodge. I'm going to pull it today only because 
I've only got like five traps right now up the river and it's a long paddle for those five traps. So until I get the motor fixed, I'm gonna pull these upriver traps. But yeah, I got me a kit. This is a young kit beaver, but hey, you know what? That's number two. Who knows, maybe I'll get three, three, three. Maybe I'll get three of everything today. Yeah, I'm just gonna go along and pull these. I've got three beaver sets up river and a couple muskrat sets. I'm just gonna pull them until I can get a motor going. Once I get the motor going, it's game on again to be hammering, but cool. Another beaver, guys. I'll take it. All right. This is one of my favorite beaver spots. Let's see if we connect it again today. Oh. Uh, yes. Looks like we got another kit. Yep, another kit beaver. Again, I know I can catch more here, especially now that I've got them figured out. But again, guys, I'm only running a few traps down this way. So it's just not, you know, not worth all the work that I'm putting into it to check them. I mean, sure, the, the beavers are definitely worth it. It's nice to catch them, but uh, at the same time, it's not worth killing myself over it every day, paddling up river like this. With all that rain we got last night, too, we got strong currents today. Yeah. That's three beavers, three rats, three coons, three possums. You know what? If I, if I didn't catch another animal today, I would be totally satisfied. <laughs> all right. I had a couple of rat sets here. Nothing. Oh, got another rat. <laughs> Shoot. Hey, I broke my I broke my 333. Uh, little bum it. A little bummed about it actually. It was kind of exciting. And I can't really get I can't get fours now because I'm all out of coon and possum sets. <laughs> that's alright. That's cool. So that's four rats here. Four rats, three coons, three possums, three beavers. That's a good day. Another big one, too. It's another couple bucks. All right, coming up to the last sets. I only got two sets left up here. One of them's a muskrat set that I just put out yesterday. There's, there's some really good muskrat holes right here, though. I got to get that motor running again so I can get up here and, and set hard. Same thing for coons. These banks are loaded. I know I could be hammering them. Uh, let's see. So far, that looks like my steak's tip, so we might have a beaver. No rat, though. Let's see if we got a beaver. I think we do. Unless I'm seeing things. Nope, we got another one. Looks like another kit, but again, I'll take it. It's actually a record day for me this year. Last year I caught four beavers in a day, but I haven't done it this year. Sweet. Yep, again, I'm gonna pull them. Just remember though, beavers, I will be back. Yeah, this one, he pulled the stake, but I wasn't worried about it. I had it wired off to this tea stake here. There ain't nothing pulling that out. Cool. Oh, I barely got him. Got him by a leg in the con bear. That's not a good catch. That's not a good catch. And something chewed on him. That's recent. Crawfish or something. Or a mink. All right. Three kits and a big one. I'll take it, guys. So that's pretty good, guys. Four rats, four beavers, three coons, and three possums. That is a dang good day right there. And it rained all last night, so I didn't even expect that. Rain the moon, it's your eye like a 
Don't miss out on the whole line of LT Outdoors ice fishing lures. Increase your ice fishing experience. Also, check out the Panty Pounder. Email me for more info. This season of LT Outdoors is brought to you by Bass Brothers Lures and Baits. All their lures and baits get the job done. RBM Jigs and Lake Effect Lure Co. Check them out online for a full selection of ice fishing tackle. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. By the bridge in Oscoda, they carry a nice line of LT merch. Mountable Memories Taxidermy. Mounts that'll last a lifetime. Ha <laughs> ha!